Hello, hello. You can see that there's metallic paint here, no metallic paint here, and then the top is just one color. This is the new French linen by Dixie Belle. It's a beautiful color, but this up here is shaded and aged. Do y'all see that? It adds a lot of depth. Some people say it looks like soot. I love it. I absolutely love it. This side over here is not. It's very flat. So a lot of you that are maybe new to painting or um, have been wanting to try something new to give, you know, you're like, how do people make it look so, uh, you know, like authentic and old? Well, this is one of the ways. So I want to just show you guys um, a little bit of shading technique that I'm doing. So on this one, I'm going to use um, both a dark wax, a clear wax, and Dixie work. So Dixie work. Dixie Dart, it adds so much depth to it. One of the places that I really wanted to show over there as well is look at this right here. Look at this piece. On this side, all of the shading that's around here, and how about this right here? Doesn't that look good? And then look at this. You don't even see it. Like you can hardly see this long, giant piece of hardware. Now I do have metallic paint on here, so that does make a difference, but this side doesn't have that shading on it, and it really, really makes a big difference. So we did shade around here. We've already done that. We just did around here. It's not as much shading as the other piece, but as you can see, nothing's been shaded up in here around this corner and nothing's been shaded around this corner either. But let's finish out this side because I do want to show you if you see right in here there's a little bit of shading and then it stops. So there's not any shading that goes on down here. This is all raw. So we're going to do this. Everywhere that wood meets wood, everywhere there's a crack or a ledge, you need to shade on the inside of it and on the, and on the other side of it and then on the inside of it and then on the other side of it. So I'm not going to lie, it takes some time. You have to be really into detail and you also have to be willing to spend some time. But it, it, it's an advanced technique, but it doesn't mean it's difficult. It just means it's a technique that a lot of people don't want to tackle um, because it does take some time and I think a lot of people are scared of dark wax and extra products. Why wouldn't I just wax it, dark wax it like I do most of my pieces all over? I just put dark wax all over the whole thing and then go back and wipe it off where I don't want it. That changes the color even on this big flat surface. I don't want to change this color. When you use dark wax all over, it's really when you're wanting to like age it but also knock back the whole color and I like this color. I want to keep this right here. So I don't want to knock back the color. And if I put dark wax all over it, even if I wipe it back really, really well, it still tends to change the color a little bit. So I want to leave this very virgin <laughs> right here. I want to leave this very, very French linen and not tainted with any kind of wax at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my besting wax in brown. This is one of the Dixie Belle besting wax that's in brown. You can see how much I use a lot of it. It's almost like the whole center. So I'm just going to take my brush. I'm just going to tap it in there just a little and I just get a little bit on the end like that and then you want to have a baby wipe. Baby wipes are like super magic when you're painting nowadays so I just usually kind of stick a baby wipe there. I'm going to take my tiny brush and I'm just going to go down all the way down just like that. I'm going to go back up and back down just like that and all I'm doing is getting this really super dark wax up into that crack. I'm not using the dirt yet. I'm not using dirt yet. This is just the dark wax. Now, when you are doing shading, you want to start very, very light. You want to start super light and then build on it. You don't want to start really deep and big and then try to knock it back. So start light and then just add and add and add to it until you get it right where you want it. Okay. So I've taken that. Can you see that line? It's just in there deep. And then I take this fluffy brush and I go back up here at the top and I just rub it in. I just kind of rub it in just like that and do the bottom and we go around that corner just like that. Okay. Then just to get off any excess, I take my wipe and I'm going to go up here and kind of run my finger down just right on top of where I was just to take some excess off. It wasn't much. See, not much because I didn't use too much. So there we go. That's that. Now we're going to do some dirt. Okay. It's sort of like cornstarch. It feels sort of like cornstarch. It's super, super, like super powdery. I know it's amazing. It comes in three different colors. It comes in earth, ash, and charcoal. And this one is earth. All right, so now I'm gonna use the clear wax. I just poured it into a bowl. It's like water, watch this. It just goes on like 
it's water, very, very thin. And I'm just gonna use another smaller artist brush. I'm just gonna dip it in my, dip it in here. I'm on video number two, babe. This, I'm not gonna stay on one because I know y'all are visiting in there. I'm missing y'all. I gotta go in and visit with my family. Anyway, so I'm gonna take it and just dip in the wax just like this. Then I'm gonna have my dirt in my hand like this. Here, I'm gonna get another brush. This has already got dirt on it. I'm gonna have these ready to go, all right? So here's my brush that has clear wax on it. I'm just using it to stick so that my dirt will stick. I'm gonna start up here and I'm just running it down, just like that, all the way down, even down here on the bottom. Now I gotta get the camera down here. I had already done this on the other live. I darkened it already with wax, so I'm just putting some um, clear wax all around this whole area, just like that, okay? And that's kind of running out because I actually had too much on my brush. Oops, hold tight. It wipes back really well. Okay, so there we go, got it wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, my little fluffy artist brush, I'm dipping it in the dirt, just like that. You don't need a whole lot. I usually put it in something small that I can kind of tap it off. And I go right up here. It's kind of like applying eyeshadow, you know? Go right up here and I just start running it in, just like that. It's real soft. It gives a really nice effect. Then I take my chip brush. I've got a little fluffy chip brush here. And I just want to start kind of rubbing that in. I just want to fluff it out, just like that. So I'm going to add a little bit more here and just sort of fluff it out. Same thing down around this, and then down into here. Now you can see when you get down here that I made a mess right here. You can see that, but I'm okay with that because I'm gonna go back with my, um, I'm gonna go back with my wipe. Here's my wipe. I'm just gonna wipe that off. That just wipes off. We're gonna be painting that clear anyway. Here's a little bit got up here. I'm okay with that, just kind of wipe it back. Now, what I don't like is that this went on a little bit strong, and that's okay. I'm just running a little bit of my baby wipe up and down over it, and it just kind of thins it out. And I can go back with a little bit more dirt and my fluffy brush and just kind of soften, just soften it, just like that. And when I'm down here on the bottom, I'm gonna add quite a bit more in these edges because if you were really, really looking at a piece that had sat around for a long time, you know that it probably would have a lot of dirt kind of settled there in the edges. Go back and wipe some of that off, just like that. And that's that. So that really accentuates. It's still a little bit too strong for me, so I'm gonna um, add a little bit more, add a little bit more of the clear wax in a wider angle up here, kind of like that. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kind of rub this in and then I'm gonna put, put it in a little bit of dirt here. And then go back with your baby wipe. Just real, I'm barely touching it with that wipe, y'all, just barely. When you're trying to match one side to the other, you want to shade it and then you want to step back. So you step back away from your piece and you look at each side and you kind of decide what needs more, what needs less. You come back to it and add and you just keep building like that. You don't have to be afraid of it because it will wipe completely back if you don't like what you've got going on. But this gives a real powdery look when it dries. Okay, so this is the Steel Magnolia. And I'm gonna take my brush, here we go. It's real easy coverage. I mean, that's one coat, it's just one coat. Just like that. In fact, some of it, you can use your finger, you can do it with a brush. Here, I'm doing it with my finger if you want. Doesn't matter. Like I said, leave perfectionism at the door. See how fast you can do this? I just do it right on the surface in one coat. And it's amazing. So far of the Dixie Bell Metallics, I've been so impressed, I've used five of the new colors in the metallics, and I've loved every single one of them. The coverage is crazy good. If you've used Dixie Belle paints and not the metallics, their coverage on their metallics is just as good as their coverage is on their regular paints. Now, I'll still take that up, the, up these lines, but that lets you see how fast and easy that is to, to do. So you guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Thanks for always being so super, super, super supportive. Talk to you later. Y'all have a good night. Bye.